Hi, my name is Kelly Sabolski, and I'm here with John David Hart. Hi. And we're here to talk about this. Um, all right, I, I guess uh, we should explain what it is first. It's mm -hmm. uh, a large piece of orolite. There's amethyst in it, but there are 23 other uh, gems in it. Um, and uh, this one's carved into, uh, I'm a stone sculptor, so I've carved this into a beaver and, uh, and a porcupine. Wicked. And uh, then it has uh, a special finish on it so that uh, it's enhanced. So you had to actually mine this yourself. Yes, we actually, we got this from the Orlite mine just uh, north of Thunder Bay, about 25 miles. So we went, we've been up there for about a month and we've uh, mined out a lot of really large stones and smaller stone and uh, to try to determine, you know, what, mm -hmm. what we want to carve. And I guess we, in the month, we produced probably around 25 or 30 works. And we have some large works that we're hoping to get I saw them in. when I walked in today. They're yeah. quite large. And, and how heavy do these get when you're... Um, we have some works out there that I started that are like two or three tons. Wow. They're really large works. But if they've got a hole drilled through them, they can be used as a fountain. Mm -hmm. And then uh, generally what I'll do is I'll construct the work because I'll, I'll drill the stone and then pin it together. Mm -hmm. So you can pin totems and you can carve your parts separately. It's easy to transport. They work really good for landscaping. You mm -hmm. know, if you're setting up your landscaping, you can adjust it or easily installed, easily taken down. So I've... Uh, I've done hundreds of those. I've been doing this now for about 42 years, oh, wow. a long time, a long time. So what, what's entailed? So you mine it, you take it out, and then you have like a vision of what, because the, they don't come out looking like. Right. <laughs> well, I think, you know, as an artist, uh, you keep doing your art until you have a defined style. Mm -hmm. like I paint as well. My last two shows were in New York at mm -hmm. the Agora Gallery. Folks can look that up online. Okay. Um, so I still paint too, but I've developed a, a style that is based upon the Ojibwe teachings with the empowerment animals. Mm -hmm. So you'll find all of my works in stone are, are usually uh, life forms made of life forms. And in my opinion, as an artist, um, the stone was once life, you know, it keeps we, the center of the earth is molten and the stone comes back out again. So to carve a life form in it as an artist makes sense to me. and. Uh, it connects with our area as well up, mm -hmm. up in Thunder Bay is that, you know, there's a, a strong Ojibwe presence in the area and has been for hundreds of years. Yeah. So it's it's a real connection with, uh, you know, the indigenous people of our area as well. So where is your art? Well, you said the uh, one gallery, you have it here at Arts Gallery here right. on St. Paul Street. And this is where you'll be showcasing more, most of your pieces right now? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, all the, the pieces that we brought out uh, have come here. Um, we're planning a, a kind of, a, not a world tour, but a, a tour that's going to start in New York um, and travel to Europe. And I've got some other pretty famous uh, people that are artists as well that, that want to be a part of it. So we had... Uh, we got involved with uh, President Obama's grassroots mm -hmm. artists and uh, a lot of Canadians. Jeff Healy and I started okay. with the musician. And uh, we, as artists, what we do is we help any community across North America, Canada, the U.S. Uh, with any good charitable cause and mm -hmm. we'll donate art to it. There, I think there's around 5,000 of us now. Oh, in wow. it, so. uh, that's one of the things that, that the art has led me to. So I really see... Uh, a vision for this in municipalities like I've got three five-foot works in High Park in Toronto and the mayor of Barrie Jeff Lehman is interested in doing some works along the waterfront so we've been discussing that I've got to see him when we get back but I see a real um, you know a catch where we could create uh, great tourism mm -hmm. with uh, more public artwork you know inst installation works that are, are large that represent certain areas. Amethyst is the, uh, you know, the stone of Ontario. So it, it really, you, we should have beautiful carvings in every city and town in Ontario with uh, amethyst and, and orlite. So it's, uh, I see a real, um, an avenue, you know, after all these years, it, it probably took me 25 years before someone could say, can you carve me a tiger? Oh, and oh, wow. and I could say, yes, okay, I can do that. It took a long time to, to get to that point. So now I see where there's a real, uh, an avenue where municipalities could uh, enhance the municipality mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, also make a public statement, mm -hmm. but, but do nice installation art and it would help tourism. So 
and I understand you you named the rock as well. Um, yeah, or, it was I'm sorry, actually uh, that's not the right yeah, way to put it. But. Howard Pillsmaker uh, owns the Orlite mine, and uh, he was he's just on the other side here. But I guess when they discovered what was in the stone because there are 23 different gems and minerals in mm -hmm. it. So you'll find gold, copper, uh, a lot, 23 different uh, uh, minerals. So he named it and has been promoting it for the last few years wow. as a new type of stone, a new discovery. So yeah, that's pretty interesting as that, well. That is very interesting. Now is amethyst as strong as a diamond? Like what's the composition of it? It's tricky to carve. It's kind of, like I've carved gr large granite and mm -hmm. marble and it's very consistent and the same whereas the the amethyst and the crystals are a little tricky you'll have like a granite pudding stone on the other side of it and that mm -hmm. makes it very easy to carve and you have to kind of interpret the crystals it's easy for example to make uh, an Indian with okay. the headdress because you'll get a piece that has the solid stone and then the crystals going back right. so I've made uh, a number of uh, Indians with the headdress. This is kind of an example of it here on the <clears throat> right on the back side. Right. Um, so when do you plan on bringing all your works here? Um, I know we have three, five right. pieces here. Right. They right should now, be all set up by either the weekend or early next week if folks want to come down and, and check them out. And you'll be here. Yeah, I should be here. Yeah, and we're planning. Uh, we're hopefully uh, we're going to do a large piece for the city of Thunder Bay and have it placed somewhere we're just uh, dealing with the business association now and and discussing that we have a work out at the mine that's about three tons okay. that we could move in and it's got works that will pin onto it so okay, it's it's fully. pretty spectacular wow. it's a nice piece so and that's transport by transport so it's it's a big job to bring it here so yes, it's just yes, an hour process type thing a few hours, yeah. few hours yeah and then even to get it in place the lay of the land and everything has to be perfect so yeah. it would take you quite it's a lot of work if there's got to be a bit of planning in it yes but the executing of carving it i can pretty well carve it right on location wherever we put it so people would be able to see me do it that would be amazing yeah it'd be interesting for people like it's rather fast when you carve the stone it, I, it's actually easier than wood and i try to convert wood carvers to it but <laughs> they don't really believe you until they see wow. how to do it but i've actually defined a method it's called hearts v cut method okay and you can carve any subject as long as you get the lines right and then you cut a v and smooth it out and it's wow. that simple yeah it's very fast so you cut it and then smooth it out and then yeah manipulate it into exactly yeah what try to hammer need. it as little as possible oh okay yeah. like you were saying it'll break yeah. apart type if thing. you can drill a piece of stone drill your hole in it to mount it on a base and it doesn't crack apart mm -hmm. it's, it'll be okay to carve and that's wow. pretty well how you know is there a lot of failure involved with that or in a lot of yeah and you, you've got to go with it especially with the crystal it'll it'll crack off so you really really have to make sure that whatever is left there is really solid and so you get rid of any loose stone as you're going along and then carve I would yeah. be so frustrated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't really make a mistake. You know, people think, "Oh, if, what if you made a mistake?" You can't really make a mistake. You can just carve a little deeper, and and then your, your vision yeah. can come with it. Yeah, and and I understand this wasn't your first career. No, I uh, I guess a lot of people in in northern Ontario would know me as a broadcaster. I started at uh, CKSO in Sudbury. I worked in the Sioux, Elliott Lake. We put Espanola on the air in 1978, oh, I wow. think. And then I worked, uh, we put the New Market Station on the air in around 1980. And then I've done freelance voice and voiceover uh, in Toronto since then. So, wow. yeah, still a broadcaster. Still Perfect. So, I, I mean, everything you do is worth the public and sometimes artists are shy. So it's very good to be an extrovert in this. Uh, yeah, well, that's this true. It does give you both sides. Mm -hmm. It really does. And it, it uh, you know, it got me involved in the music industry as well. I've, I've approved grants at Factor to help mm -hmm. people in, uh, in the music industry. And I, I sometimes set up uh, consulting to show bands what to do with a recorded song and how to actually get it to radio without using YouTube. Wow. So, yeah, I'm very involved in both sides of the arts. So That's perfect. Yeah. I'm a very well-rounded person. I like to encourage other artists whenever I can. This is perfect. If you want to see John's art, you can come down to Arts Gallery on St. Paul Street and John will be here more than happy to answer any questions that I haven't asked today. And is there anything else you want to add about this? Well, I'd just anyway, like to thank you for having me on. I, this is amazing. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs>